Okay, so now let's read Marvel Spider-Man: The Hunt for Black Panther. Craven the Hunter loved to hunt wild animals. The only things he loved more than hunting was the fame that came along with it. But one day, after Craven had captured a pair of cheetahs, he didn't feel the same sense of accomplishment he normally felt after a successful hunt. Craven hungered for a new prey that would give him a real challenge. But where could he find such a foe? Few days later, Peter Parker was sent by the Daily Bugle to photograph the annual protection of endangered animal conference in Upper Manhattan. Giving the keynote speech was none other than T'Challa, ruler of the African nation of Wakanda. Peter was excited for the chance to see T'Challa speak. The king was a compassionate ruler and a scientific genius, but T'Challa had a secret. He was also the superhero Black Panther. In order to protect the animal of Earth, the king began, it is our duty to fight back against illegal hunters and poachers. Black Panther protected his nation and its animal kingdom from villains by using his superhuman strength, speed, and agility. One of those villains was Craven the Hunter. Desperate for a new challenge, Craven knew that this conference was the perfect place to find his next prey, Black Panther. The villain burst through a window in a spray of broken glass. T'Challa, he bellowed loudly, I request a meeting with the Black Panther. T'Challa's eyes narrowed, Black Panther will never bow to the likes of you. Craven gave an evil smirk. I assume there would be some protests, that's why I brought some backup. Craven let out a high-pitched whistle, and two cheetah leaped down from the window above. No one here is allowed to leave until Black Panther is mine. In the chaos, Peter Parker's spider senses were tingling like crazy. He knew he had to act fast. This place was turning into a zoo. Meanwhile, the Chala bodyguard, the Dora Milaje, attempted to move the Wakandan king to safety. Save your energy, he commanded. It's time for Black Panther to strike. Black Panther turned round to discover that he had been joined by Spider-Man. What are you doing here? Black Panther asked. Nice to see you too, replied Spider-Man, swinging into action. Spider-Man fired a ball of web fluid at the nearest cheetah. Stand back, I've beaten Craven before. I can deal with these overgrown house cats. Spider-Man, no! You must be careful! Black Panther tried to warn the web slinger, but it was already too late. Wow, nice kitty! Spider-Man exclaimed as the cheetah grabbed his web and lunged toward him. Acting fast, Black Panther grabbed the cheetah before Spider-Man was harmed. Listen to me, he told Spider-Man. My animal instinct tell me that these creatures are being held here against their will. They will only attack you if they are provoked. Spidey wasn't out of danger yet. Craven aimed a deadly spear at the web slinger, but Spidey rolled out of the way just in time. I'll calm the cheetah down while you get Craven, Black Panther said to Spidey. On it, Spider-Man said, and as he swung toward the balcony. Craven had found a way to increase the aggression of the cheetah, but luckily Black Panther had a special understanding of wildlife. He massaged the back of the cheetah's head and safely pressed down on that pressure point to relax the animal's anger. That should calm you down, he said, petting them gently. With the cheetahs under control, Spider-Man caught up with a villainous hunter. I did not come here for you, Spider-Man, but if I must capture you too, so be it, Craven said. He began to throw knives at the web-slinger hero. 
but Spidey, trusty Spider Sense, make it impossible for Craven to land an attack. What's the matter, Craven? Spider Man asks. Can't catch a little spider? Maybe it would help if you took care of that smell first, Craven. Phew! Or do they not have shower in the jungle? Spider Man joke. Blunted with anger, Craven was unable to focus on the fight with the two superheroes. Spider Man quickly used his web shooter to disarm Craven, giving Black Panther the perfect opening for an attack. Now you will pay for the crime you have committed against the Animal Kingdom, Black Panther added, before delivering the final blow to Craven. The hunter was clearly no match for the strength and speed of the King of Wakanda. Craven was finally defeated. What's wrong? Don't like being held in captivity? Spider-Man asked. Black Panther addressed the crowd. These majestic creatures are not the enemy, he told them. They deserve respect and compassion. And thank you, Spider-Man, for helping me save them. Spider-Man was caught off guard by the Black Panther's word. Wow! Thanks, Black Panther. Now might not be a good time, but do you mind if we take a selfie? That's the end.